Wait a sec, do I have enough of those? Yeah, I do. Okay, I... This is interesting. Um... One of the trades I wasn't able to do before, and we know this Pikachu from the original game. Um... Yeah, it's got Growl and Thunder Shot. It's got 60 HP, so it's fairly sturdy. And... Yeah, it's a promo if you trade 4 Voltorb with the, the Tackle variety to the trainer in the Lightning Club, Club over here, then you can get yourself that Pikachu. That I forgot about. <laughs> Man, I hate it when I don't start my timer and I start a countdown thing. Yep, false alarm. Hey guys, this is GamerCow, welcome back to more Pokemon TCT 2. Um, that's the hazard of basically doing stream stuff for it as well. You guys get to know my scripts and stuff. Anyway, the deck we are playing this time is Durgans, because Durgans are pretty cool. I actually built this deck for later on in the game, but I don't know if it's going to be in the game at that point, because it, basically the, the thing I built it for is a potential random chance that it might not be this card that I have to play. So, I won't spoil it too much. But anyway, this is a Dragonite deck, obviously. Uh, both Dark Dragonite and regular Dragonite are very good in their own right. And it pretty much uses a 2-2 line of Dodro for the Retreat Aid that I said before. Uh, I don't play Moonstone in this deck. I do play one Moonstone. I have one Moonstone at the time. I don't play that many Moonstone in this deck because I don't really need them very much. Because if we remember Dark Dragonair from my streams of this like ages ago, and I think we've seen Dark Dragonair before anyway, but the Evolutionary Light lets you search out an Evolution card once per turn, so why would I need a Trainer card that searches it when I can do this? Um, to complement that, we have Dark Dragonite, who, when it comes into play, lets you get up to two basics from your deck and put them on the bench. So basically, this deck is going to fill up the bench very quickly with um, fill up the bench and fill up your hand with searching through the deck a lot. And then, it's kind of very flippy on the attacks. Giant Tail has to flip heads to work, but it does a colossal 70 damage for any 4 energy. That is absurd. I think that's actually the strongest attack of the game. Considering you can power this up with 2 double colorless energy, I think this is the strongest attack of the game. 70 for effectively 2 is so good. Uh, Slam is not nearly as good because it's 40 to 40 per head, you flip two coins, same cost, so it's trickier to use but a bit more reliable damage-wise. The thing about this Dragonite, however, is the step-in power. Because step-in is like Rush-in nowadays, for those who know Keldeo EX nowadays. Rush-in is, is, is modelled off of this. Basically, you can bring Dragonite in for nothing every turn. And unlike Keldeo, this has a one retreat cost, so... It's good. It's really good. Obviously, a deck like this, especially running two different types of evolution from the uh, from the front lines, it's going to take a lot of Pokemon Breeder and stuff like that. I only run two though because I have two of each of the pre-evolution here too. But I do run like Master Ball to get cards out. I should really just run Four Trader. I have four traded there, but Master Ball is kind of cool, because you get to look at the top cards of your deck and basically get a Pokemon from that, which you could then trade it for something else. Uh, it's a bit of a weird deck to build, this one, but energy-wise, it's all colorless, because nobody needs anything but colorless. Uh, Potion Energy heals 10 when I use it, uh, attach it to a card, so it's quite nice. Uh, full Heal Energy recovers status conditions. I should probably play 4 Potion and 3 Full Heal, so I'm actually going to change that very briefly. Uh, I play a lot of energy in this deck. I probably don't need to play that much, but I'm banking on building up a lot of attackers, so... Yeah, or maybe I'll just play 3 of each. Or 4-2, because step in. Uh, put another Breeder in. I basically built this, built this deck on the fly, so it's not going to be perfect in any case, but... You know, it's it's one of those sorts of things that I just thought, well, why not try something different? And since I might need um, Dragonite later, play this. So with that said, ah, I'm gonna knock my headset away. Um, stupid cables. With that said, we have four players from the Lightning Club to face. 
This dude is cool at that with sunglasses. So let's start with Jennifer, full of adorable Pikachu cards. Oh man! There is a little bit of a lightning weakness in this deck as well, because remember Doduo is um, Doduo is weak against lightning. So there is a tiny bit of that, but um, it's not too huge. Remember, Jennifer plays like 4 Pikachu, 4 Surfing Pikachu, and 4 Flying Pikachu, I believe. So she plays a lot of Pikachus. That's pretty much all we really need to know about that. I do not like having to discard all of those cards. That is going to be a very bad start if I have to discard all that. I forgot to change the coin again. Oh man, Flying Pikachu. Oh man, that's kind of annoying. Flying Pikachu's Thundershock is kind of is dumb. I don't know. Because it just paralyzes you. She gets so many heads, Jennifer. It's kind of ridiculous how many heads that she gets. Uh, Switch ain't going to help me at the moment. Pokemon Trader definitely is, though. I am going to trade away the Dragonite. Yes, we'll trade away the Dragonite, and I'm going to get myself out something. Uh, probably Dar Dragoner. Dar Dragoner sounds good right about now. So I can't play it until next turn, but next turn I'll be able to get a bench, uh, another Pokemon out, which would be pretty good. So Pokeball, she plays this as well, and she gets a lot of heads, as I said, so more Flying Pikachu, more annoyingness. If she gets a third energy on this thing, Fly starts becoming kind of painful, and of course heads on the Paralysis, that doesn't really matter, because I was going to evolve this turn anyway, and I can't exactly attack right now, so not a huge deal. Breeder, Breeder would be nice, but I don't want to go straight to Dragonair. But it does let me get something else out, which would be kind of good. Yeah, that'll be useful next turn. Because uh, what I can do with Breeder is I can basically use Breeder to get um, stuff out. I What I'm going to do this turn, then, is I'm going to use Evolutionary Light. I'm going to take a... Uh, I would like to say... I'd like to say Dragonite out of the um, out of the deck. If I get yeah, because I don't need two Dragonite. I'm gonna take a Dragonite out. This is gonna be a bit more of a thinking episode because I've got to work out how I actually want to play this deck. This deck is way different to the sort of thing you would normally see. So I'm gonna use Item Finder. I'm going to dis uh, discard Dragonair and the one of the Professor Oaks. Gonna get myself back Pokemon Trader. I'm going to use Trader, get Trade Away Dragonite, get myself out Dratini. And that shall end the turn. Now hopefully she doesn't paralyze me again. No, good. Okay. So that's decent. Because now I finally draw an energy. Hoop, hooray, you know? Um, what I can do now is I can use Evolutionary Light once again. That'll pull out Dragonite from my deck. Regular Dragonite is the one I want. So we'll use Breeder. Go straight to the Dragonite. So now I have a way of getting that out, which is pretty good. I'm then going to put the Recycle Energy down on the Dragonite. I'm going to evolve up to Dark Dragonite, and Dark Dragonite is going to let me get two basic Pokémon from my deck, which shall be Doduo and Dratini. So we'll play... Oh, those have already been played down. So now Professor Oak. Get another set of cards out. Uh, more Doduo, place that down on the bench as well. And I think I'm good to go for this turn. Your Thunder Shot really doesn't bother me anymore. I need to start getting energy on the board really quickly. That's the that's the next thing here. I need energy down. And that's basically what's gonna happen now. Dodro, Dodro is really good. I wanted to get that. So that's nice, because now with Dodro in play, I can go ahead and retreat for less energy. And I can also use the evolutionary light power here. Thin my deck down a little bit, get, get the other Dodrio out if I can, which is here. So then we'll evolve into we'll evolve into this one as well. 
So now I retreat for two less energy. All of my Pokemon have at most two energy to retreat. So now I can retreat for three whenever I want. It's a good deal. Double colorless, that's really what I wanted here. Because now I can just go in with that. I am going to not retreat this turn, however. Well, I am. I'm going to go out to the Dark Dragonair. Next turn I can hit this thing with Slam and we can start actually doing some damage. But this turn, not so much. Anyway, the reason I wanted Dragonite down on the board is because of stuff like this. Now I can just go ahead and attach a potion energy. I can use the step-in power to go in as the active. And I have two chances to knock out this thing. And I get it on the first go. 80 damage, there we go, pretty nice. So that knocks out Flying Pikachu. It's taken a lot of time to get to that point, and I do realise that, but, you know, it's it's one of those sort of setup based decks that it's too slow for the uh, for the competitive scene, but it's fun as hell to play with this. Um, let's go ahead and put a Potion Energy down on Dark Dragonite here. That'll heal off 10 damage from it. And I guess we're just going to slam this turn. 40 damage, pretty good. So yeah, that's the premise of this deck here. I've sort of set up a lot of stuff here, and it works quite well when you set it up right. More potion energy on the Dragonite heals more off of it, which is good. I don't really need anything else at the moment. I have lots of energy in hand, and that's pretty much all I need. I just need to put energy on the board. I was really slow in the energy attachments, actually. I needed, to, I, I wanted to get energy out faster, but I just didn't draw them, so... What can you do? So anyway, this Pikachu is going to recharge. It's going to get an energy from the deck. That's sort of scary, because it does hit fairly hard. And that could hurt quite a lot. But it's 50 damage. I can survive 50 damage. I'm going to place an energy down again on the Dragonite, and I'm just going to attack with this. I was going to chance Giant Tail, but with the threat of a Thunderbolt next turn hitting for 50, I would have lost my Dark Dragonite there, and I don't want that. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. This is going to hit for... That, that could have hit for 50. If I hadn't have damaged it at all, it would have hit 50 damage, and it would have knocked out that Dark Dragonite, and I would have been very sad. Uh, I need to attach an energy somewhere. Um, Dar Dragonair, why not? I have another Dar Dragonite in my deck, actually, which I could look for, but I don't need it. The big problem with this deck, as you're seeing right now, is that it relies on coin tosses to do damage. And that ain't good, yo. Coin tosses to do damage is never a good thing. Pratini, play that down on the bench. Potion energy on Z Dra and Dark Dragonair, why not? If I don't flip heads, I do no damage. It's as simple as that. That's two turns of doing no damage with four coin tosses. Quite unlucky actually. But hey, that's the nature of the game, and that's that's pretty much the risk that you take here. So she just hit for 50. It really doesn't bother me because I'm not taking that much here. Uh, I'm going to try and draw one more energy though. Dark Dragonair does a guaranteed 20 damage, so... I have enough cards left in deck, so there, double colorless and a Dark Dragonite, okay. Double colorless is a bit excessive, but I guess I'll use it anyway. Uh, Tail Strike, guaranteed 20. Of course I flip heads this time, so that's going to be 40 damage. And Flying Pikachu ain't going to really bother me too much anymore. Revive! That just gives me a gust of wind target. Congratulations, miss you. Okay, you have not just won me the game because of a potion. Clever girl. Tails on the paralysis. It doesn't matter, I was probably evolving this turn anyway. Uh, just retreat out to Dragonite and Slam. This episode's going to be much longer because these games are going to take a lot longer. Of course, I get an excessive amount of heads when I need it, but uh, when I don't need them. But still, that is the first game with this deck. 
Ah, my Pikachu was defeated. That's because Pikachu sucks. Yes, Pico, I said it. Um, more pincer? Ah, okay. I'm not blaming your Pikachu again, woman. That's kind of not cool. So anyway, let's move on. Brandon. He has 10,000 volts, apparently. Uh, if I remember rightly, this guy plays like Zapdos and stuff. So... Don't know how that's going to go. But Starting with a lone Doduo is not good. But I don't think there's a lightning Pokemon that can hit for 30 for one energy. Oh, I forgot to change the coin again. I am smart. Uh, does have a Zapdos, though. Um, let's play Master Ball first, see what we're going to get. Dodrio? Dodrio is the only card I can get. Okay. Dodrio wasn't exactly what I was hoping to draw, though. Challenge, more Dodrio. Ugh, I really didn't want to draw that. More challenge, okay. Dragonite, wow, this is really bad. Uh, this can happen with decks like this, this is why I don't like playing decks like this. I have like all of my evolutions in my hand right now, and I have no basics. I can't afford to bin this hand. I literally cannot afford to bin this hand. I have way too many evolutions and stuff here. I have both of my Dodro are in my hand right now as well. That's that's really not good. So I'm just going to have to go with what I've got right now and hope that I can draw something better in the next turn. We'll see. Plays down the Pikachu, okay. I need to draw something fairly quickly, mind you, because this guy is going to set up if I don't. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, I have three turns, I guess? I'm not going to be able to charge up a Pokemon in time to wall this Zapdos, so that's going to be problematic. I'm going to have to just discard the cards here. I can't really afford not to. I don't really have... I don't have room for stuff like energy removal in this deck, so... Yeah, it's basically just going to be that. We'll have to discard them. Nightly Garbage Run can get them back later, but it's not really an ideal solution, to say the least. Uh, Dragonair Computer Search, okay. But what I do have now is Dratini's. So next turn I can start setting stuff up quite nicely, and we'll see Dragonair hopefully come into play as well. Uh, Rage does 10 more damage for every damage counter on me, but I only I don't have any damage on me right now, so it's a guaranteed 10 damage. <laughs> kind of bad, to be honest. This uh, this guy is going to get knocked out very soon, and I'm going to be sad, but oh well. Uh, double colorless down on that Dragonair. Not much else needed to play right now, so we're just going to hit for 10 again, because that's all I can do. Really not a whole lot of damage capable, and capable of like coming down here. Now see, the problem is now that it's got 4 energy on it, it's got Thunderbolt as an option, and Thunderbolt's a one-hit kill on anything I have. Which isn't good. Uh, Dojiro's got zero retreat, so it's the obvious thing to play, but... I don't know what really to do here. Because there isn't anything I can actually send out that won't just get one-shotted. And I don't play energy removal because I don't have space. I'm gonna discard Breeder and Switch. What can I even get? Gust of Wind is only gonna delay the inevitable, so that doesn't really help either. There isn't a whole lot that I can do. Because if I go if I go with Dragonair just now, then he's just gonna attach and you know reattach. If I Hyper Beam and discard an energy, he's just gonna reattach and kill me with Thunderbolt. That does save me a 
spare a few turns in the end, but yeah, you know, like I can I can go for a few turns beyond that, but it's gonna cost me two double colorless energy to do that. But right now I'm not seeing a better option. And that scares me a lot. Alternatively, I could go for slam and go for the double uh, double heads. But if I miss that, then this game is basically over. But I can't afford to just sit here doing nothing. Tough call, man. Tough call. I could let him kill the Dodrio, hope that he flips tails, because Thunder does 30 damage to himself. I think that's maybe what I'm going to have to do. I don't really need Do Dodrio in this game, so... Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. Do I have anything else I can take? Uh, just Dark Dragoner. Okay, not a whole lot that I can use. Okay, so let's see what happens with this. I might not win this game. Oh good, he flipped the tails. Right, excellent, now I can Hyper Beam and knock him out. It's cost me both Dodrio and two prizes to do that, but I think I can just win from here. I have so many recycle energy, it's kind of silly in a way. Right. Let's guarantee the kill with the Hyper Beam. 20 damage and you discard an energy from the opponent. Very expensive attack, but kind of cool. Oh, Raichu, hello. Raichu also has Thunderbolt, it hits for 60 damage, for free lightning energy. So I'm definitely going to want to stop him using that. And the obvious way to do that is to Hyper Beam. Because now I'm discarding one of his energy every turn, so he can't actually get powered up to the point where it's going to kill me. He's also continuously wasting energy on Raichu here. But he is getting a ton of heads, that sucks. Um, ooh. That ain't good. Alright, let's get Dragonite out of the deck then, because apparently I need that. Um, I'm not going to be able to kill without two heads though, so this turn is going to have to be a Dark Dragonite turn. I'm going to have to gamble it on one coin toss here. I don't need to look at my deck. There are no basics in deck, so this is all we've got to play with now. Uh, potion Energy, don't want to play Potion Energy, want to play Recycle Energy down on that. We'll retreat. Oh, we've got to discard a DCE. Oh, that's bad. Um, discard DCE is never good. Giant Tail, if we flip heads, 70 damage. We do flip heads, so boom goes the Raichu. Out of the field. Okay. Good stuff. Let the buzz is getting charged up on the bench. I'd like to gust of wind it. Thank you very much. So we'll gust of wind, we'll try and get rid of this guy. Uh, recycle energy down on Dragonite. Giant Tail, go! No, no success this time. Okay. Hmm. This could be trouble. Okay, the heads doesn't matter because I have step in, so I'm okay with this. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Play down that. Retreat, discard one of the recycle energy, that goes back into my hand. And once again, no such luck. Wow, this is going to take forever. <laughs> Oh dear. Lady Luck is a very fickle woman. She really is. Right, this time I'm going to put a potion energy on that Dragonite so I can heal 10 damage off of it. And once again... Yeah, yes! Okay, 70 damage knocks out the Electabuzz in one shot. I think I might have knocked my mic there very slightly, but whatever. 
It's out of the park. Quick attack. You are going to do 30 damage because you're a jerk like that. Okay. Breeder. Could be good. There's a... Dark, no, there's only Dark Dragon there left in my deck, but there is a scope for Nightly Garbage Run. Oh well. Uh, recycle NG. I might as well play it down on the Jatini. I might end up going for that. There's a Nightly Garbage Run left in my deck. If I pull that and manage to draw the uh, Dark Dragonite, then I could run with it. But we'll see. I might not even have to do that, because if I flip heads here, and I do, boom goes the EV. Giant tail, 70 damage when you get heads. It's a very costly attack to fail, but it's an exceptionally powerful attack when you get it right. When you get the heads. Such a good attack when you get heads. So, there we go. Ah, uh, gold up, we've seen that before. It's kind of worthless. Legends pack, you give... Decent packs, good sir. Moltres! Uh, this was the original flip to do, like, nothing sort of thing with it. Uh, yeah. No damage if you flip tails. 80 for 4 sounds better, but it's for fire energy. So it's more expensive. Colorless energy are easier to, easier to run, so, yeah. Anyway, this part has been going nearly 26 minutes, and I've only done two of the games. This this deck takes a long time to run. Um, so I'm actually going to stop the part here, even though there's only been two games, just because the games take forever. And next part, we shall finish this set of trainers off, I guess, and then stuff. Alright, we've got to change coin too, but we'll do that. So yeah.